Welcome back to Obermott Stock Investing. We invest today in one of the top 10 stocks in Germany on November 26, uh, 27 actually is when we publish this top 10 list. What you see here uh, are the top value shares. We have a reinsurance company, multi-utilities, lots of cars, lots of cars down here as well, BMW, Volkswagen, Daimler. Uh, Lufthansa, Siemens, um, construction materials, diversified chemicals and chemicals again on the value list. Now, uh, here are a few interesting remarks. Airlines is a tough business. We know the competition is uh, ruinous. It's, uh, it's very hard to make money. We also know there was a Volkswagen moment uh, not long ago and probably the information about uh, what happens to Volkswagen is not yet in their balance sheet and profit and loss statements. That's information you should use when you invest. So I don't feel that safe about investing in any car company because who knows what comes out. Let's wait a couple more months. If the value ratings are still that good as they look today, we can invest there where right now a lot of turmoil is happening. What's left? Um, basically, reinsurance, not what I'm focused on because I don't really know about it. Uh, RWE is an electrical company, interesting, but regulated, could be an infrastructure play in Germany. I'm more interested actually in something more solid, Siemens, worldwide conglomerate. Let's have a look at Siemens in more detail, which is what you see here um, on the next page. And, uh, you know, when we look at Siemens, I like it. It's a climate protection stock, so they do more than their competitors in saving carbon energy. That's a good, uh, a good sign. Sound incentives, they're not ripping the people off. Now let's look at how their overall ranks look. The value ranks is something we were looking at. The only thing that was not that good is price versus capital, everything else in terms of revenues, in terms of profits. Siemens is a very good investment also in terms of yields. Now this year they haven't grown a lot recently. Um, well, growth has been better in the past and I guess that's definitely something more temporary. I'm not so worried about that. And here, I may have the reason why, we may have the reason why capital is not that, uh, is maybe that rel relatively high or uh, compared to the price because they actually have a lot of leverage actually. Now it's the other way around. Let's forget that. They have a lot of safety. That's just in terms of how much they have invested. They are not that attractively valued, which means basically maybe they have been very efficient. Let's go to the website. I know Siemens very well, so I feel already comfortable now, but let's look at the website, look uh, how they look. Uh, it's uh, still an old-fashioned website. Well, that happens to conglomerates like Siemens. They may not be up to date that much. I would go on Invest Relations, see what they have here. It still doesn't look that cool and state-of-the-art, but the Obermott website isn't except uh, recently we have updated our homepage. What would I want to see? Well, I would want to see Siemens at a glance and I looked at that and I found there a PDF that I downloaded. Uh, Vision 2020 sounds really good. Uh, was just developed um, in, in 2014, you can see it here. Uh, just launched right now and they have a, a, a vision where they want to move move forward. Let's see what they want to do. There's still a lot of numbers. We don't have to look at the numbers since we have Obermatt with the ranks. Um, what is the vision? A clear mission. Um, if I read that stuff here, it's actually not that clear what it means. Uh, a lift ownership culture. Again, there is not much evidence on why they should be more should have more ownership. Let's look a little bit further down the road and um, maybe here I see something. They want to save money. They want to save one billion. It's not that bad. Sometimes saving is not the best idea. But here, um, create value sustainably. Um, or even more important here, the executive, the executive target system. They include growth as a target. They want to be better than most relevant competitors. I think that's a very good sign because um, uh, we've done research and we found that companies that have no growth targets 
in their executive compensation grow less, and that's bad for investors, obviously. So companies that focus on short shareholder return, focus on profits, are actually not providing the best profits and not providing the best returns because growth is missing. So um, that's really interesting. I like that a lot. Let's go to my um, accounting, my, uh, my brokerage account. I want to find Siemens. I go to trade, trading. I buy stocks. The uh, stock here is very clear. It's Siemens. I can actually say stocks and I can say I only want to see the stocks here. And it's right up there. I, I take the ADR. I don't know what it is. Um, let's see what Siemens Aktie is. Um, these are the name shares. Um, they are currently 70, uh, 94 euros. It's almost, it's probably a little bit more than 100 francs. I'm going to buy 50 shares. I'm going to buy 50 shares for roughly 50,000 francs. Uh, I say best. I go on. And it means 4,740 euros. I say execute. And that's it. We have bought Siemens today, a company, a company that I knew well and that had lots of good information on Obermatt uh, with all, all the ranks that it displays. But it also has a new mission statement that I found quite compelling. I hope you enjoyed investing with stocks with me today and I wish you good luck with your own stock investing. Mm -hmm.